Shukla and back on the earth, sir. Uh, your first comments on this historic splashdown of an Indian. Uh, you are, as you are aware, this is the second Indian who has gone to space and came back safely. And first Indian went to International Space Station and came back safely. Now, it is a very historical and important moment. Now, first of all, I have to thank Honorable Prime Minister of India, Modi ji, for approving the Gaginian program on August 15, uh, 2018. And uh, he is the visionary leader who wanted the human space flight program. And we are working for the Gaginian program. For that, we have to develop the human rated launch vehicle, orbital module development, propulsion system development, uh, health monitoring system development, environmental control and safety system development, uh, crew escape system development, parachute development, human centric products like space suit, lot of developments. And one of the important aspects is giving, selecting the Gaganyatris, selecting yeah. the astronauts or Gaganyatris in our language, and train them for different, uh, different training, giving exposure to the space environment and physical training, mental training, then a lot of education to them and we had selected four Gaganyatris. They were announced to the country by Honorable Prime Minister just year before last year end. Then it is Honorable Prime Minister, he strongly um, believed that one of the Gaganyatri better to send to International Space Station. What are the advantages? Advantages, number one, we selected two people, uh, Prashant Nayar and uh, Subhasnu Chikla Sukala. 10 months they were put through rigorous training program. So that is one of the outcome. 10 months training. Second thing, ISRO team has executed a contract, international contract for carrying out this. This is the second exposure what has come. Third thing is, when uh, Suklaji and Prasand Naya, they had a contact with well okay. experienced astronauts, they gained confidence. It is, yeah. this, this confidence. With that, they are going to the International Space Station. There, you know, already seven astronauts were there. And then yeah. they don't feel uh, alone. So it is seven plus four, 11 people are there as a big team. So they work together. So he knows so, how to work in a team. And now he has come back. Now the entire yeah. experience, exposure, and he has seen the Earth from top. And uh, we allotted some work to carry out some experiments, experiments. Experiment is not only space experiment, something was done in the ground and it was uh, prepared right. and sent, he has done something and uh, for example, to take seats after exposing to microgravity yeah. environment, it is brought back and then yeah. anyhow, this we are going to do experiments. All these things will feed to Indian Gaganyan program. So what are the key developments that you're looking or the learnings you're looking from this over two weeks mission that was carried out? What are the key features that you're looking to in inculcate in, in Gaganyan programs? Work, work, work in a space environment, working together with other astronauts and carrying out some experiment, some experiments in the space environment other, along with other colleagues. Then, of course, getting exposed to that microgravity environment, the body itself getting exposed and what type right. of thing and the medical health. Medical health also we review quite often. So, lot of, you know, input has come for our Gaganyan program. Correct. So, what, what is ISRO planning to welcome uh, Mr. Yeah, Shukla sir, when he comes? Basically, yeah, yeah, we are, are going planning, to welcome. We, we are going to welcome both of them. Uh, we have asked them to undergo quarantine. Then, of course, debriefing activity has to be done. They will share the entire thing. After that, uh, August middle, he will be back. We will welcome and we'll, uh, I have already told, given him enough uh, uh, enough guideline what he should do. He has to document the entire thing so that it will be helpful for Indian space program in the coming years. And uh, this is the guideline I have given and he may be doing entire thing. Then we'll review and put them on the job so that what our experience gain in the, you know, it's a government activity and everything should be documented and it has to be available for the years to come for the benefit of Indians. So those exercises they have to do, both of them, together. Uh, of course, uh, Prasad Nair and both of them got 10 months training. After 10 months training, he got the uh, uh, opportunity to go to the space and come back. So put together, let them write and submit the documents, so which will be useful for the future generations of India. The last question, sir. Tell us the timeline of Gaganyan that you're looking at. By when can we have the first man on an ISRO aircraft or an Indian aircraft? Uh, say 
right now we have to do three uncrewed mission before going for the crewed mission correct the first uncrewed mission is targeted this year end somewhere okay, december end we are targeting first uncrewed mission then two crewed two uh, in this a yeah, biometra also will go then two okay. and more uncrewed mission next year in six months uh, gap time frame once all the three goes well we will have the crewed mission we are targeting uh, first quarter of 2027 so one message for all the indians who so are to see mr shukla back or uh, to i'm excited to welcome to india one message for them sir no we are very happy to welcome uh, shukla ji but one more thing you should know one important thing uh, you know the team led by me when we were there for the launch originally the launch was scheduled on 11th june correct and 10th june the moment we came to know there is yeah. a leakage in the rocket we insisted on correcting the leakage before launch so based on that uh, correct uh, the launch was uh, postponed and uh, postponed. they were also cooperative in correcting and their thing otherwise it would have been a real problem without the correction uh, if the rocket would have taken off there was a crack correct. sitting there it would have been a serious problem and we are also fully satisfied so we are having full knowledge of the system and we could uh, insist on stopping a launch uh, with a serious problem if that would not have been done really it would have been serious problem for safety of the all the four astronauts and uh, today i am so satisfied and happy that with our knowledge indian education system indian knowledge we could really uh, insist on stopping a human rated rocket launch and they heard us because of indian uh, knowledge they heard us and stopped postponed the launch and corrected in their thing uh, and safely we could launch so we are fully satisfied on our education system on bharat education system and the capability of the indians in ensuring that's, safety of our own astronauts that's that's another beautiful example and endorsement about how isro is capable of achieving everything so good luck to you and all the astronauts that are planning to be a part of this gaganyaan mission congratulations to isro sir Uh, thank you let me also congratulate you and your team because when we are thank talking you, about great nation building it is not only engineers and scientists who are working it is journalists like you who are so sincere in doing your job systematically let me also congratulate you and your team please can thank communicate you so much, my sir. congratulations to all of them thank you thank you so much sir. thank you sir thank you if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe